What's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you a bag that I've been using for the past six months that I really, really like. This bag has worked so well for me for the past few months. It's just perfect for the size of equipment that I'm using. And I know a lot of you guys are using the same stuff as me. So I figured I'd share it and tell you why I like it so much. Full disclosure, this was not sent to me. This was not paid for. Uh, I bought this, a friend of mine pointed it out to me about six months ago, and I ordered one and I've been using it ever since. So I'm just gonna share with you what I like about it. This is from a company called Strobius, which I believe is Ukrainian. And this bag specifically is called their Standard 110. They have a few different bags of different sizes, but their 110, which is the centimeters, uh, is their longest bag, which is really the only one that works for me because it's the only one that'll fit the length of my stands. They've got a few more in the 100, 110 centimeter range. If you wanna check those out, I've got their link in the description. But this one just works so perfectly for all my flash equipment. And it's primarily because of these side pockets here. Let me show you. In these top pockets here, I keep my extra S-mount adapters. So I've got two of these here and here. You guys know I love the S-mount adapters for both my speed lights and my 8200s, which is pretty much all I'm taking with me to jobs anymore. Then you've got these longer compartments down here that are basically about twice the size and they fit a ton. You can lay two speed lights or 8200s on top of each other in this side pocket. And then I also have down here an 80B2. So right here I've got one 8200, right here I've got another speed light. And then on this other compartment, I've got two more 8200s that I keep with my mag mod attachments. And then I also have my Fresnel heads. Now, a lot of people ask about like protecting these bulbs and I've honestly left them in the side pouch unprotected. Uh, this isn't even like a hard pouch on the side and there's been no issue over the past six months. Never had a bulb go down or anything like that. You don't have to baby these too much guys, but do make sure, do make sure that you're not over tightening this. For those who don't know what this is, this is the bear bulb for the 8200. This is the head that you can switch if you want to use it inside of a softbox. And that's why I leave my mag mods on these because if I'm using them in a softbox, I just switch the head. And if I'm not using a softbox, I'm likely using mag mod. So yeah, I keep two of these. I only keep two. I never really use like three bear bulbs at once. So I keep one at home just as a backup. And then I've also got a little bit of space down in here. There's some mag grid, mag mod attachments, some extra mag gels and extra mag grids. And then obviously we got the main compartment, which I have three stands as well as some umbrellas in. So I have one cheetah stand C8 and that's my third stand and I leave my third Bowens S-mount on it at all times. I have two C10s and I keep those without the S-mount because if you put the S-mount on it, they won't actually fit in here. And if you guys don't know about cheetah stand, they are auto collapsing stands. So when you put pressure on the ground, they automatically open and close. Absolutely love them. And a quick discussion on these, a few people have asked me if you should instead get the auto stand from Adorama. And I had one of those and it broke down really, really quick, which is why I ended up switching to the cheetah stands. And cheetah stands have been awesome for me. I did have one that got destroyed at a Jewish Orthodox wedding. They pulled the table and, and used it for the groom to dance on top of. When they did that, they knocked over my light and it fell on its side. But one quick call to cheetah stand and they replaced that stand very quickly. So super happy with that customer service. Big fan of cheetah stand, not only for the stands, but for their modifiers as well. And the customer service and support. And I do keep some umbrellas. I'm not a huge umbrella fan, but you can't really go without having translucent umbrella. I just have one just in case I need it for a quick dirty setup. At times I've kept some other umbrellas in here, but right now I just keep the one. The umbrella for me is just like a backup modifier. I never actually rely on it. I much prefer soft boxes. There's some like tough rubber padding on the bottom in case you're kind of dragging it. And the top has this nice rubber reinforced grip. But the other good thing is that the strap is really high up on the bag. So when you have this over your shoulder or completely over your head and across your chest, it's positioned so that it doesn't move much when you kind of move around. If, if they're positioned in the center of the bag, then it becomes like a balance issue. But the way this one's positioned, it's really easy to walk 
even though there's a ton of weight in here. So yeah guys, super quick video that I wanted to share with you just because if you're using 8200s and you've got some stands that are under 43 inches, that's like the maximum height for this. It just worked well for me, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I had a lot of gear like stacked on top of each other, so that really tidied up my bag quite a bit by putting more of that flash equipment in here. You guys can check out their website. They've got a ton of different bags. They've actually got one that is meant to support like a mono light and a soft box. And then you mount some other stands to the outside. Maybe that fits your needs a little bit better. And as well as they've got smaller bags if you're using smaller flash gear like nano stands or smaller type of stand. But I ordered mine from eBay and it came really quick. I'll, I'll leave a link to this specific bag and how I ordered it on eBay in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. Other than that, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment below if you have any questions, subscribe if you wanna see more. Till next time, keep on shooting, YouTube.